Oh shit, the eye test is back. Here we go again. This nigga Dame doing it again. Subscribe to me, Damien Harkless. And we gonna have a classic. Two legends for the first time in the eye test as far as already inducted to the Hall of Fame. My first big on big eye test. You got Hakeem the Dream. Elijah Wan, you got Shaq Daddy, the Diesel, the Big Aristotle, the Big Cactus, every nickname in a fucking book, O'Neal. And you know, this is the eye test. We're going to get right into this one. This one is going to be a special one. And I must say, you feel me, growing up in Cali, I grew up on Shaq. So I had preconceived notions about the, uh, the Diesel coming into this, and mind you, being a 90s baby, I couldn't really watch Hakeem. A nigga grew up in 92, so I had to go back, do some extensive research on the dream. And you know, we all hear the stigmas of what the what the uh, media puts out there. Like, yeah, he was the most skilled. You got the legends always wanting to work with him. So we get that. We already know that. That's uh, a... <clears throat> Essentially, word of mouth. I'm not content with comparing players through just word of mouth. I got to see the video for myself. I got to see the footage. And that's exactly what the fuck I did, man. And to say the least, I was in fucking awe of what I seen. If you like basketball, you a 90s baby or you a newbie, <clears throat> you got to go back on your history, man. The shit is like... What they talk about as far as Elijah Wan is nothing in comparison of what he did. Like, but I'm gonna get in the video and I'm gonna just I'm gonna go in on everything, man. We're gonna start. We're gonna start with low post offense. Low post offense. And whoever wins this to me, this is the key determinant, because both of these players make their living in the post. And I'm not using the Magic Shack. I'm using the L.A. Shack. So you're going to have to add 45 pounds to that. <laughs> More dominance. But this is the visuals I can, you feel me, accommodate the two. Low post offense. Oh, my God. If you pick either one, you ain't wrong. I'm here to tell you that off back. Shaq get the easiest buckets. I think we consider him the most dominant because of how easy Shaq got the buckets. Particularly in L.A. In L.A., he was so big, he just did one drop step and banged out all day. That's literally half of his career in L.A. was predicated on banging on niggas. <laughs> so his dominance in the paint, if you say, Shaq, I ain't mad at you. But me, I got the dream, low post offense. Why? He's probably finna show you something right here. Okay, good pass, but he had literally every move in the book. When they talk about how skilled he was, they're still undermining him. You have to see this shit for yourself. When I say he's like a Tim Duncan slash Jordan breed <laughs> in a seven foot body, the shit is unbelievable. Like, of course, he had the dream shake. You know about that. His up fakes were crazy. His sweep and hook. All, but all these bigs had to have a sweep and hook. And that's the beauty about this time. It's the era of the bigs. We don't have bigs no more. Like, yeah, we got cousins, a couple of them. That's the sweeping hook I was talking about. But these bigs right here, it's a whole nother level than the bigs that we can see today. And they play on the low block all day, at all times. There's no stretching now. It's no extending too much. You feel me? Dream could extend, but he playing down the blocks. Dream had every move in the book, man. He had a low post fadeaway. Look like Jordan. <laughs> Promise you. Wet all day. You're going to see it somewhere in this video. But yeah, low post fadeaway to sweep and hook. Shaq had to sweep and hook too. Don't get it twisted. Don't think Shaq was just not skilled. Shaq made his living getting, you feel me, chicken dinners. But he had the skill. You got the black tornado, you feel me? <laughs> his patent. You got low drop step moves. He has a sweeping hook as well. Shaq is a beast. And one-on-one, -on -one, you can't guard neither of the two. Ever. Ever you can't guard neither of the two. So don't think I'm sleeping on Shaq. But what you see from Dream, 
what you will see if you look back or if you uh were around back in the times to watch, this shit was unbelievable what he did. I couldn't even believe it watching it. What not only what he did to the Magic, this whole ninety five finals was the best run I've ever seen. I used to love Dirk run in twenty ten. This run, pff, he killed everybody. He killed David Robinson MVP. Killed Shaq. Like <laughs> I couldn't believe what the fuck I'm seeing. But low post play, I got dream. Passing, I got dream. He was way less hesitant to pass out the double. If the double came, he's going he's gonna, to uh, pass it immediately or make a move like that immediately. Like Shaq was more reluctant to pass. Shaq would kind of fill it out. Shaq was a good passer too, though. Like when you're talking about legends like this, man, it's, it's, I can't denigrate no one. They're both great at what they fucking do. Shaq was a great passer, but Dream, like, man, y'all got to watch Dream. It's, it's, it's almost hard to explain because I didn't know it was like this. <laughs> I didn't know Dream was like this. Passing, like, his IQ is so high. He doesn't make a bad pass. He almost never, like, from what I've watched, he didn't make bad plays at all, offensively or defensively. So passing, I got Dream. Shooting. <laughs> Easy dream. Like, this is the one we all can interpret. Ironically, he shot it right there. But Shaq didn't shoot. You know what I'm saying? So, consequently, Dream gets that one off back. And his mid-range was fire. Like, man, I promise y'all. If y'all watch Dream, y'all will not be upset, dude. If, if any player. He might. I don't know if he's the most underrated. Because I don't know who else uh, ESPN and the media curved. <laughs> but this dude, I couldn't believe this shit. And Shaq, uh... Shaq got the uh Shaq is heavy on the glass in that low block. So his his baby mid-range, his three to five game is almost perfect too. He'll lean on you and do the little baby right over you and get that in too. Shaq is equipped in many skill sets. I didn't know what Duran was talking about when he said uh Shaq wasn't skilled. To be as big as Shaq is, that's a skilled motherfucker. But you got shooting, you got Hakeem, free throws, Keem mandated. Defense. Now Shaq, Shaq, especially on the Lakers, he was he was way bigger. Like the nigga, I still don't think two humans made this motherfucker how big he was. But he was so big that when he's down there, like I never seen Shaq get dunked on other than probably by Yao once on a sneak tip. But he didn't get dunked on just because his big ass presence down there. So him being there alone is Gucci. Plus, he had a good weak, weak side defense with the blocks. He wasn't the best weak side defender, but if he was around, he'd beating your shit up too. But Dream, again, one-on-one -on -one and help D. Dream made the right play every single time, damn near. If you just watch what Dream do, he's going to make the right play every single time. Shaq had to get his in on that notion alone, being more powerful. Couldn't believe how he defended Shaq. Mind you, Shaq was killing the whole playoffs. He had tricks of the trade, taking charges like you see. Left hand, right hand block. Uh, hands in the air, not fouling. Like, defense is dream. He won defensive player of the year. You know I'm not one for accolades and stats, but that's just, you know, you get a little notches from what you see. Don't use the stats to determine everything. Use the stats to back up what you've seen. And this shit is what I've seen. His defense, he'll be the best center in the league easily right now. Easily. Put him in the league today. Hakeem is the best center in the league. So his deep, look at this shit. <laughs> his hands, I think he was like a, a top 10, uh, top 10 in steals a multitude of years. The nigga had good hands. Like, oh my God, rebounding. And rebounding, um, it's either or. A lot of, a couple of, oh, the Black Tornado. A couple of these is toss-ups, but rebounding, if you want to break down fundamentally, like Shaq didn't really box out. Shaq is just a freakish athlete. If I could give Shaq something, I'd give Shaq athleticism just because he's 7'2", 320, and he can jump high. He's not faster than Dream. Dream run like a fucking deer. Like, <laughs> it's hard It's hard to tack shit. When you start talking basketball, it's hard to tack shit off of Dream. It's hard to give somebody leverage on a category because he was so skilled. He's underrated. Left hand, they both didn't use the left hand like that. I'm going to keep it G. I didn't see too many left hand action from any of these players. But if anything, Dream probably didn't have. It was a, a 
a favorite left. I'm 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 guessing he had one. But man. So you got defense, you got rebounding. Rebounding it dep- it's it depends on what you prefer. If you prefer the beastly type rebounder who's going to hover over you a shot, but if you pr- prefer like the Kevin Love fundamentally sound, look at this shit. <laughs> fundamentally sound, box you out, get it with two hands. It's dream. I'm going with dream, honestly. Like, I'm honestly going with dream. And after what I seen with uh, how he, this young Shaq, but how he handles Shaq, man, handles. Of course, dream. <laughs> it's a shame that the media don't talk about this dude as much. We talking about Shaquille O'Neal, one of the goats. He was dogging Shaq the whole finals, d him up. Shaq was getting his. You ain't going to stop Shaq completely. And both of these players demand a double team. I must say that. Bigs now hardly even demand a double. These players, if you don't double them, they're going to get a bucket. Eight out of ten times. Like, like shit like that. If you don't double, tch, come on now. It's clean cut. But, yeah, tch. It's hard press for me to give Shaq any category, man. And that's saying that I thought coming into this, I thought Shaq was the best center I've ever seen and the best center probably in history. I always used to tell my homie shit, I'm picking Shaq first. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Dream did everything good. It wasn't nothing Dream did. He wasn't deficient at anything as part of basketball. And Shaq got the sweeping hook, you feel me? Shaq got skill. Don't get it twisted. I'm not here to discredit his skill. He's not just a big-ass brute force like uh, KD tried to claim him. His drop step was the beastliest we ever seen, and he changed the game. I feel like when we talk about dominance, though, we just talk about how easy he get the buckets, the snack wrap buckets, you feel me? Give it into him, dump it, and he dunk on everybody, like... He was that dominant, but if we talking basketball, I, I don't think he was better than Dream. I have to pick Dream on this one, man. Overall basketball player, I, I couldn't visually see too much that Shaq did other than be more of a powerful force down there. And I don't even think that I don't even think that's indicative of dominance. Like Dream was just as dominant, just in every facet of the at every facet of basketball. It wasn't just power. He didn't have Shaq power, but he had power. Like, so yeah, man. I'm gonna wrap this one up real quick. I got Dream overall. If I'm missing any categories, the bigs kind of are limited. Yeah, I mean, you want to talk about three ball? But I could guess Dream. He shot one in game four. Like, <laughs> kind of ended them niggas. But don't need to go with three ball. I think I covered the. Uh, all the big categories, rebounding, low post offense, passing. I got Dream and all that shit, man. Other than power and athleticism, and I didn't know it was like this, man. I didn't know <laughs> it was like this. I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta go back on basketball. Period. Honestly, like if y'all don't know, most people are just biased towards their decade in which they played. Most people like don't care to go back on the history. We gotta go back, man. Because some of these motherfuckers was great. The 90s was... I think the 90s was better than the 2Ks. But that's personally just my opinion. It was big, heavy. Our era is guard heavy. Our era don't play D. But yeah, man. This Dream Shaq. Classic. I got Akeem. Who you got? If you got Shaq, shit. I'm still, I still ain't mad at you. But I'm, it's a preference thing with me. I prefer skill. Like, if you cover every... Every category in basketball, this nigga was like a big Jordan. <laughs> a big-ass Jordan mixed with Duncan type shit. But yeah, man. Dang, man. Peace.